How's the light in back? Ah, it was it was a wee bit strange. I suppose I'm I'm always about here, like, but just to be back and in, in, in a well, it was a, a big changing room environment and and speaking to players, you know, was. Well, I suppose it brought back old memories, like, but yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed being in with the, with the players and just very disappointed with our first half performance. We were, I thought we were as poor as we possibly could be, you know, and I suppose I have to shoulder part of the blame for that. I suppose ultimately the damage was done in the first half. Yeah, to be fair, with the scoreline at half time would have been a lot worse than us, just being brutally honest. Uh, you know, I think the one thing we were happy to get in at 2 0, to be honest, and uh, to be fair to the lads, we asked them, you know, you know, to show us a wee bit more, and and I, and I thought their endeavour and their their work ethic and all was was much better second half. I know we changed the shape a wee bit and sort of matched them up, and you know, I thought we won. I thought we won more first and second ball, and I think it was more just a bit of sustained pressure than than quality of play. To be to be brutally honest, but. At least if we're getting that, uh, rather than folding like a deck of cards, I mean, at least it's something to take forward going to the next game. And maybe ultimately you could have nicked the wee equaliser there? Yeah, it was, it was a very good delivery by Ben Gallagher towards the end, and I'm not actually sure who got on the end of it, but, uh, you know, I don't know how wide of the post it was like, but, it, you know, we got bodies in the box, and, you know, we asked we asked Glen Alvin a, a question once. We, we said at half time if we get the next goal, you know, football's a funny old game, and... Uh, you know, can we try and put them under as much pressure as we can? And to be fair, I, I thought we did. I thought we did that without, as I say, without quality of performance, which you know needs to be better if we want to get points in this league. You're in obviously till the end of the season. I mean, what, what do you want to see, or what do you, what's your expectation between the end of the season? I mean, you obviously don't want to finish bottom. I suppose that's the first target. Yeah, oh well, at the end of the day, as I as I say to the boys there, you know, if you're a manager of a football team or 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 you're a player of a football team, your first objective is winning games. I mean, that's that's it. And uh, no matter what way you go about it, you know, the objective is to try and get the three points. Uh, so. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely want to work on the on the quality of our performance and uh, you know with games coming thick and fast I, you know I'm going to try and utilize the squad and make sure that all the all the lads get a, a, a fair crack of the whip because uh, you know as I say with so many games to be played in a short space of time you know we've, we've got to try and maybe look after some people and uh, make sure that we give everybody a fair chance. Is the squad on the team better than the performance, or than maybe seen tonight, or that the table shows? Do you think there's more to come from these boys? Well, they always say the table doesn't lie. Yeah. So, uh, at the end of the day, you know, I have watched the team this season. You know, beat Balamina, beat Coleraine, beat Cliftonville, uh, with good levels of performance. So, I think the performances are there. There, there are a lot of good players in there, uh, and maybe there's just a wee bit of a wee bit of lack of confidence. Uh, so, hopefully. You know, we, we just try and work hard and, and improve on things and, you know, defensively we've got to do uh, better and we've also got to keep the ball a bit better and create more opportunities. Did you see enough in that second half to, to go into Glen Torn and Saturday with a wee bit of confidence? Well, well, well I saw, I, I saw uh, performances from some of the young players that give me heart, like with like a young Ethan McGee like making his debut there and come on at half time. And, I thought he did really, really well. He, he won a he won a couple of great tackles, and he I think his long throw was a was probably <laughs> a tool that became was unexpected to the opposition, and I think uh, he certainly can be very proud of his debut. Uh, and yeah, Tony becoming here buoyant after a good one tonight too. I didn't even know the result of that. Did you not? Oh my no. So, uh, well, listen. If you look at the quality that Glenshorn have, I mean, it, it wouldn't matter. It's, it's it's going to be a very very difficult game. But you know, this is what we this this is the league we're in, and we have to compete. We you know, as long as we're competitive uh, and not you know not dropping our heads, and and we we got to keep working away. I mean, it is what it is, and and uh, but players have got to realise that you have to play for ninety minutes and not forty five. Thank you.